Sports and Madden NFL 11. Happy to have you alongside to what should be a fantastic football yeah. showcase. Freaking snow lounge. What is it? Second down and six. Handoff up the middle. He makes his way to about the 45. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Crushed as he lets it go. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Green Bay. Not a good way to drive there. That one really needed to go the distance. They put seven points up so they could draw a little closer here in the first half. Give the defense credit for not slipping. Crosby is just about ready to get this one away. He brings it back to 23. Can you take the bounce so I have to pause the game? And we'll have a first down in 10. Oh, yes. I'm not going to snap the ball. Are you so I said do it at the top. They might have missed time to snap on that. Ooh. And it will come back penalty on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. Three 
Green Bay takes the timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second down and seven yards to go. He passes it. It's picked! He's tackled at the 27. The Packers defense has come up with two big picks now in the first half. Here's the gift. Still looking for an open man. Jones bats the ball down. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that Crosby will send this one deep. He will start from the 13. The Packers settled for a field goal on their last possession. Tosses it out. He's wrestled down at the 32-yard line. Gets about four on the play. And that'll bring up second down. They give it off here. Steve Slayton found a hole and was able to pick up just around six yards. First down. He's going deep. It's almost picked off. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. Flip 
Flips it out short to his left. And it's a fumble. That's not fair. Well, the number one rule for a halfback is you have to be able to hold on to the football. All the statistics show you turn it over and you're going to lose. His pass will fall incomplete. Nick Collins was defending on the play. Oh, Nick, the that makes everything better. He lets it go. The pass falls okay. incomplete. Pretty good to the ball. Awesome. If this rain keeps up, you're going to see a lot more passes getting away from these quarterbacks, and it really could force some adjustments in their offensive game plans. All right. Ma'am? Okay. It's fourth down. The Lions are lining up to punt it away. Okay, he'll try and return it from his own 10. Sweep left. Levy was there for the stop. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is 17 0. Looking for a man. Makes the leapy catch. That brings up second down. He's searching for a receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Harris has really come through with just an incredible season this year. In fact, he's being mentioned in some circles as a possible MVP. Second down now following the incomplete pass. He's dropped and that's a huge sack.
the Packers call a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. It's a pass. He's brought down at the 37. Yeah, we, we're Vikings game first. I reach for the Vikings, and I just clutch. And that's just more, more of me entertaining than me just wanting to beat the Browns. Third and five Peterson right here. Goes through his progression. Same. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. Nice time. Armani Edwards was the intended receiver on the play. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect a punt. I'm not sure about this call. Matthew Stafford has a big arm, and we all know that, and he needed every bit of it on that throw. that time and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that <laughs> Brandon Pettigrew was his intended target he's going deep with it over and over. touchdown over and over. Motor City Matthew Stafford finds his receiver for the score Thanks, once man. again, adding another touchdown pass to this total that now stands at 20 for the year. Camps under it. He will start from his own five. He's hit and dropped at the 39-yard line. The Packers got the ball into the end zone on their last possession. Inside get. And he's tapped at the 43-yard line. Gets five on the run. Second down. Searching for an open man. That's a gain of five. And so it will be third down. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. It is an incomplete pass. That was a pretty bad miss that time, and we've seen it from him before. He just cannot seem to connect on those long throws. Just simply power football there, converting on fourth down. I love watching those fourth down plays. It's just big guys against big guys, and you know what's at stake. and it feels good. Looks to throw it. Second down now following the incomplete pass.
still looking for an open man. Nice job on the line by the Lions. So it's third down, 13 to go following the sack. Scrambles away from defender. That was impressively done by the Lions. It's fourth down. And the punt unit onto the field to kick it away. From their own 46-yard line. They just need to keep it rolling now. Johnson will make his way to the bench. Seems like he got banged up on that last play. Could be a shoulder. He throws downfield. He's tackled at the 45. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. So the ball on the 45. Good coverage downfield. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Armani Edwards was the intended receiver. Has a man deep. He drops the easy pick. Armani Edwards was the intended receiver on the play. Just gets it off. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes complete. He gets off the throw. Not really sure about that call. I know the coaches in this league are getting a lot more aggressive going for it on fourth down, but I don't know why they kept the offense out there that time. position on the field, you have an opportunity to come away with points, and you just can't simply give it back to the other team. the kickoff to start the third quarter. CZ Jay's been injured a lot in their bones now. He's like turned from never being injured to like always being injured. He's hit and dropped at the 24-yard line. The Lions are in a dangerous territory right now. This one's gotten a little out of hand, but a touchdown on this series, maybe your defense gets a little momentum going. Makes his third catch of the game. Here's the long bomb. That incompletion will bring up second down. He gets off the throw. He 
He's wrestled down at the 46 yard line. Matthew Stafford absolutely drilled that one in there, and he needed to. This guy can throw as hard as anybody in the league. And he's tackled at the 27 yard line. The Lions are putting together a good looking drive here. That's their third first down. Tackle 
at the eight. He's now over 100 yards receiving in the game. This is just one of those guys that can get separation. He always has a little space between him and the defender, making it easy on the quarterback. the pass and now the offense will be looking at second down. He's searching for a receiver. He tipped the ball away. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. Number four in the game. The pressure by this defense has four. been there all day. And offensively, they're just struggling trying to come up with a protection scheme that works. And with that, the score is the Packers, 27, the Lions, 7. And here is the drive summary brought to you by Verizon. And that's the end of the third quarter. The score is 27 to 7. The Packers have possession as we begin the fourth quarter and can put this game out of reach with a score on this drive. He brings it back to the 23. The Lions will begin this drive at the 23. He loads up for the deep throw. That was Stafford. Really let that one go. You know, he's definitely got the arm strength to make those kinds of throws, and everybody knows that, but accuracy is still the key to winning in this game. Nate Burleson was the intended receiver. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. And that will be a three and out for the offense after that incompletion. Really nice defensive stand. It just seemed that the defensive coordinator was inside the offensive play caller's mind that time. Come on, we can't get that off under the stress. He's dropped down uh -huh. at the 33-yard line. Excellent gain through the air. We'll set them up with another first down and 10. Knocked loose before he could bring it in. Nate Burleson thought he had a secure catch. And you know you're going to get hit as a wide receiver. You've got to hang on to those balls, but that was a big shot. Scrambles away from the rush. Defense pushes him out of bounds. That's a 23. He picked up a huge chunk of yardage on that carry before ducking out of bounds. Can't ask for anything much better than that. Not only do you pick up good yardage on the play, but the defense broke down, allowing him to get to the outside and get the ball out of bounds, stopping the clock. It's a fumble! They'll pile up for it. effort to maintain possession of the ball when you're mixing it up at the bottom of one of those piles of big bodies and clawing and scratching it's tough scrambles away from defender makes a cut and he will be hit and dropped
pitch right. He's brought down at the four. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really puts some pressure on this group up front. Touchdown, Motor City! The PAT is up and good. With less than four minutes to go in the fourth, the score, the Lions, 14, the Packers, 27. And here is the drive summary brought to you by Verizon. And he gets the ball at the five. He makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The Packers will set up shop at the 27-yard line. Short pass to his left. Running down the sideline. He's wrestled down at the seven. I know these linebackers are pretty good for this team, but they're not good enough to cover wide receivers in this four wide receiver set. Time to bring some of those smaller, fast guys out there for this defense. Six-yard line. 
Here's a look at today's red zone numbers made possible by Old Spice Body Wash, the greatest smell in the NFL. Oh, so you don't want to play ball, man. Remember what you did last summer. Remember what you did last summer. Still looking for an open man. Levin picks it up. I brought this upon Massa. Not a good decision there to throw that one. Yeah, that was a mistake. But at least this guy is out there trying to make plays. He's trying to fit in throws. Every once in a while, the defense just makes a play. Hey, that was just corner flip. This corner flip stick. That's all. You can see the stride inside outside. Brandon picking inside. Passes it downfield. He's brought down at the 25. And I can tell you this, there's nothing the defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. The Lions will take a timeout. That is their second of the half. They have one more shot. Let's see if their prayers will be answered with a Hail Mary. Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. He completes it. He fumbles it. No, safe. Wide yes. receivers are pretty good at catching the football. They're not always good at running with the football. It takes a lot of strength to hold on to that ball, and he gave it up. Loose ball. Yeah. I took the down. That's it for Lambo Fields. Stay right there for our post-game highlight package. Mexico. Here's today's Swagger Player of the Game. Presented by Old Spice Deodorant. Smell like a man. Man. One player 